please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. I'm your host, Richard. We're 24 days into a government shutdown. Anarchy? Here with me is my garden gnome of a side host. I'm still waiting on the gnome. Don't know where he is. Uh, but I guess stay tuned for your latest news, weather, and sports. But first, to Nick with the weather. Thanks. When you came in today, it was 26 degrees outside with the winds around 7 miles per hour. Throughout the rest of the day, the temperature is going to stay around the mid to high 20s with the high being 30 degrees later tonight and carrying into the morning. Tomorrow morning around 5 o'clock, snow showers are expected, so make sure to give yourself plenty of time to get your car cleaned off. That's it for weather. Now back to Chris and Richard with lunch, birthdays, and all the latest news. Thanks, Nick. Today on lines 1 and 2, we have spicier grilled chicken sandwich, line 3 is grilled cheese, line 4 is chicken alfredo, and line 5 is buffalo or cheese wedge. Happy birthday today it goes out to Rafael Rascon Hernandez, and that's it. We'll send you now sports tomorrow. Thanks, Richard. To start things off, last Wednesday, the freshman boys basketball team defeated Clinton Prairie, 50-29. to Six hot dogs scored during the game, led by Riley Goodnight's game-high 18 points. The team was back in action Thursday night when they hosted Weibo. Frankfurt was victorious, 49-27, improving their record to 5-4 on the season. Logan Wills led the team in scoring with 19, while Deegan Spencer had 17. The track team is in need of managers. If you are interested, see Coach Glotti in room 403 at 2.50 p.m. tomorrow. All candidates will find out about duties and expectations along with additional requirements for the positions. Also, there will be a softball call-out meeting after school tomorrow in room 305. Please plan to be there if you're interested in playing softball this year. That's all for sports. Now back to the studio. Underclassmen, as you're looking at scheduling for next year, think about what HTV can do for you. Here's an example of what HTV has done for a friend of mine. Uh, this is Dallas, and this is my life at FHS. For the start of my life, I usually was just nobody, and until I went to HGTV, I was somebody. I'm very popular here at FHS, and I would like to say I'd, I have several people to thank. I would like to thank Mr. Stoddy, Colton Crum, Ethan Wessel, and HGTV's very own Mr. Slee for helping me get my segment on the air last year, and Mr. Stoddy helped me get into HGTV. Colton was my mentor last year, and Ethan's just my best friend, and he's been, in Kurt, and he's been by my side ever since. You ever find yourself wondering what goes on in Dallas's head? I know I do. Be prepared, as Dallas is returning soon. There's a call-out meeting for the fire dance team today after school in Miss Bacon's room. In DECA news, this year marks the eighth year Frankfurt DECA students will raise financial and product donations in order to provide weekly food bags to Frankfurt Elementary and news of last year, Frankfurt Middle School students. There are so many finalists for us to name, we don't have the time in first period to name all the finalists. So please, check out the chatter for the DECA State <laughs> Qualifiers. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and check back tomorrow for more in the latest hot dog happenings. Be sure to like and subscribe by the way. Yeah.